done any junk rope in like six to eight months probably. And Hi guys, I am at the gym and I just finished my back day workout. I've been trying to do more cardio for because for the last year when I had a personal trainer, I did mostly lifting, I didn't do as much cardio and I think I need cardio. I haven't done any junk rope in like six to eight months probably. So the first uh, minute or two of trying to jump rope are the hardest minutes. I start and I feel a little bit awkward, I feel a little bit heavy, um, but at the same time I start, this girl walked into the room and so I have to keep going. I can't give up after five minutes. I'm gonna make it to the full 10 minutes. You're gonna see, I keep taking breaks, I keep stopping because I can feel it at the bottom of my feet. It hurts a little bit. It's not used to jumping, it's familiar, but it's not the same. So I keep stopping, I keep break, taking breaks and tripping over the rope. But by the end of the, the workout, like the 10 minutes, I my momentum's better. I can keep going. But yeah, it is a bit of a rough start. I feel it might look like I'm okay in this video. But I've been, I can really feel the, the fact that I haven't jumped rope in a long time. So I'm gonna just speed through this part. You're gonna get the gist of it because I don't think you wanna watch 10 minutes straight of me like jumping and not talking or doing anything except you just watching me jump. So we're gonna speed this part up and you're gonna see how many breaks I actually take. You can count how many I take in the whole the entirety of this video and let me know down below in the comments. But I do take a lot of breaks. And um, then I start cycling 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So let's watch. Here I am just doing my little shimmy. Uh, one thing you need for when you jump rope is like really tight waist pants. The waist of these pants are too loose so it keeps sliding down every time so every like five minutes I have to adjust. But like think to know if you're gonna start jump roping, kind of get nice um, fitting pants for it because the jumping motion makes things fall down. Stress yawning. Yeah, here's me pulling out my, my pants again for like the 50th time. Ooh, quick mirror check. Ooh, yep.
When I drop the rope, basically, you know, I'm tired. My calves are burning. It's I'm I'm over at this point, but we're still going. At this point, I'm finally feeling it and getting into it, and we're finished for ten minutes. So I did my jump rope. <laughs> um, I am definitely rusty, but not as bad as I thought I would be. I stopped talking, or like I was kind of quiet because somebody came into the like the room same time i did and i got a little bit shy but i finished it that's the main point of this um my calves hurt um my the bottoms of my feet hurt but i am i'm like i'm i'm happy <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah i don't know what to say it's just like it's a familiar feeling it's like riding a bike it's so corny but um it wasn't as bad as i anticipated it after being away for so long um it felt it felt good so i'm gonna start incorporating it again into my workouts um stop shying away from it um i was a little bit yeah worried but just need to probably get better shoes because i think my my runners are so are worn out um so i'm gonna get some better shoes um and work on building up back my jump rope and just building back up my workout game and yeah so jump rope for the first time was a success i am i have my protein here I'm gonna go drink it. I haven't had protein also in like a really, really long time. Um, so um, can't be working out lifting heavy doing all this and not getting my protein gains in. So starting back today, uh, so happy. Bye.